Welcome to the Advanced Tech Podcast. Joining me today is Jonathan Leon, CEO at Bitsy. Welcome, Jonathan. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course. So for our listeners that don't know you, could you tell our listeners, our listeners and viewers a little bit about your background? Uh, yeah, sure. So I've been coding since I was 15. And for the past 15 years, I've been building high performance mission critical systems um, that handle hundreds of thousands of uh, concurrent users. I started a venture building fund about six years ago. Uh, we team up with entrepreneurs and uh, early stage start startups to um, build on the ideas, uh, the products, offering them tech support, funding, um, and building up uh, a connection base for them. Uh, and our primary focus is driven around building up uh, a next generation fintech ecosystem. Very cool. So at a high level, how would you explain Bitsy and the services your company offers? Well, I would say Bitsy is a financial tech company uh, that uses Bitcoin and other blockchain technologies uh, to build real world products. Uh, we, be we believe that Bitcoin would shape modern finance. And our goal is really to make it accessible for and usable for everyone. Um, besides our flagship product, the Bitsy Exchange, uh, which offers both spot and futures trading. Uh, we have other verticals that include OTC, lending, asset management, and our upcoming uh, Bitsy debit card. Nice. So those would be your, your core features for Bitsy? Yes. Awesome. And then beyond the debit card, uh, what other upcoming products or services um, will you be releasing in 2020 that you're most excited about? Well, I would say... In, the, in two weeks' time, we have um, a brand new feature. It's our, our multi-currency OTC dashboard. Uh, users can then request for codes for buy and sell orders uh, across all fiat and crypto trading pairs. Um, <clears throat> later on this year, users can also look forward to more spot and future uh, listings, as well as more uh, fiat gateways for easy onboarding. Um, Separately, we do have a couple more uh, interesting services uh, in the sectors of personal and institutional finance that uh, we're still working on, but we should have them launched towards the end of the year, I would say. Um, Very yeah. cool. Um, so you recently launched a token. Why did you decide to release the Bitsy token on Liquid? Yeah, uh, well, we decided to release a token first because, you know, um, unlike most projects, we, we have a solid platform. We've got users, we've got revenue. It just made perfect sense to launch a token that was integral to um, the Bitsy ecosystem. Um, the purpose of it was really to bring about greater awareness, adoption, retention, and, you know, uh, really driving growth. So we the exchange token was actually designed to complement the existing services with real utility and benefits, right? Giving our users real proper value. And it made perfect sense to launch it on Liquid um, more because we are fascinated by what it's actually built on. As I would, uh, the feature of um, confidential transactions and two minute settlement was a big plus for us. And yeah, uh, we are also a part of, um, uh, the liquid uh, federation. Excellent. Yes. So why did Bitsy decide to be a launch member of the liquid, liquid network? And what do you see the potential? Oh, I'm going to restart that. <laughs> um, let's see. So why did Bitsy decide to be a launch member of the, li the liquid network? And what do you see as the potential of the tech? Well, the Liquid Network presents an ideal environment for us and ex as an exchange and our users as the most impressive features. Um, as I mentioned earlier, co confidential transactions, two-minute transactions, uh, uh, finality, and uh, rapid inter exchange settlement. You, you'll basically be seeing uh, Liquid connected up to more and more exchanges, and that's really where it's going to shine. So. Um, we believe that the liquid integration will help us continue uh, to offer the highest level of um, service and quality for all our users. 
privacy is a, is a real important factor, especially in the space. Absolutely. Uh, so leading into my next question, which companies are you partnered with and how would these services work together? Well, um, we believe that partnerships are mutually beneficial and it's very important as they spur growth and inspire innovation. Um, one of the more prominent um, partnerships other than uh, Blockstream Liquid is actually a collaboration with Brave New Coin. Uh, we've developed two crypto indices uh, with them and we actually have um, them trading on our platform um, as a futures product. Separately, we do have a lot of uh, partnerships behind the scenes that we work with um, uh, custodians and uh, various other uh, payment gateways. It, a lot of partnerships actually happens uh, in the background. Yes. That makes sense. Um, so what interested you in Bitcoin specifically and what keeps you interested in the space? Well, that's the beauty of it, right? Uh, Bitcoin is barely 11, what, 11 years old. Oh, yeah. And it started out from zero dollars in value to peaking almost 20 uh, to 20,000. Right? It's all done without a CEO. There's no, there's no company running it. And it's really just supported by a global community. Right? Uh, the key fact is uh, you, you don't see a currency which has a scarcity factor um, it gives people autonomy over their own money, um, having very novel economics behind it, you know, um, things like the halving, the mining, the, the control of supply, and it's decentralized. It, it, there's a peer-to-peer -peer factor, which is really very uh, attractive, right? And the whole point is Bitcoin has become a household name, right? Even, even uh, uh, you know, my parents who, who don't know anything about Bitcoin, they've heard of it. And it's where I believe that it really has immense, uh, immense potential to be a part of our daily lives. Excellent. So what would you say are some of the emerging trends and applications you're seeing in Bitcoin, financial services, and high frequency trading? Uh, and how is Bitsy leading in these areas? Well, today, Bitcoin is still primarily used for speculation and store of value. I believe that in time, this would evolve as adoption picks, uh, picks up and liquidity continues to grow. Uh, you've got recent events such as um, Germany recognizing Bitcoin as a financial, uh, a legal financial instrument. You've got South Korea uh, passing a bill to regulate cryptocurrencies. You've got the India Supreme Court ruling against the central bank, um, um, the G20 and FedF meetings to discuss building regulations around it. It really just says a lot about the potential of the uh, digital asset space. Um, we see a big blue ocean and leveraging off our team's uh, extensive experience in various fields. We're actually rapidly building up multiple verticals in parallel, uh, starting off with our exchange, the OTC platform, the debit card, custody and asset management services. Um, all these are key in order for us to lead innovation in the space. Excellent. Um, I'd like to dig into the debit card a little bit more. What can users expect uh, with that service? So the debit card is very important in serving a lot of the underbank. Uh, a lot of people who are in the crypto space, some really enjoy their privacy and some basically hold uh, a part of their uh, savings and hold uh, investments in uh, cryptocurrency. So giving them the ability and the flexibility to be able to spend uh, uh, is, is very important. Uh, we do see a big market in uh, India and in China quite a few countries where uh, there are quite a lot of restrictions. So having a, um, a fiat and a crypto debit card easily funded gives them the flexibility to travel and spend. Uh, yes. Excellent. And when can, when can people look to that launching? 
we are targeting a uh, May launch. It's, we're currently doing some uh, behind the scenes uh, soft testing and everything's looking quite good so far. Excellent, good. So a couple more questions. Um, now that most in-person events have been canceled in, in light of the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, how is your team coping? And what will be your digital and virtual strategy for the remainder of 2020? Um, well, you know, conferences are a great opportunity for everyone to get together, right? It's, it's like a little family gathering. It's actually also how we met. I mean, it's unfortunate that it's not happening anytime soon, but we know that it's, it's important. It's for the greater good. Um, the beauty of it, of course, is that the crypto industry, I would say we struggle less uh, with this than other industries. Uh, the whole concept of how everything's built is really behind the screen and decentralized. Right. So um, generally, the larger part of, of our strategy is really virtual anyway. Uh, it doesn't really affect us too much. Um, we're definitely following uh, in the trends that are emerging from the current situation. You, you're starting to see more virtual meetups and conferences. That's going to be an interesting angle and we want to see how that turns out. Um, but other than that, uh, business as usual, I would say. Cool. Um, finally, do you have any questions or requests for our audience? And if so, how can they reach you? Yeah. So, you know, we always love to get feedback from users, all, um, from the industry. Uh, feedback is always very important. A large part of all the functionality uh, implemented were suggestions by our users. So, you know, we love to have them get in touch with us uh, via Telegram, our Bitsy official group, uh, Bitsy.com, or if not, they can also reach out to us on Twitter, also at Bitsy.com. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Jonathan. Uh, is there anything else you have closing for our listeners or any other wisdom you'd like to impart? No, no, it's exciting times I think uh, we're in and I'm looking forward to the rollout uh, that's coming up this year and this year and you know, just want to keep everyone um, on their toes and excited what's in, uh, what Bitsy is going to be offering. Awesome. I really appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Cheers.